in the last episode we started building the cockpit dodger. Now let's see if we can get it done. The wood construction will be painted with epoxy and glued. At the end it will support the roof and give stability to the dodger. After that we assemble the roof slab, of course again with a very professional eye. Especially the alignment of the lateral supports required a lot of precision work. Fortunately, I had support. Still looking pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, passed. <laughs> My father also helped me a lot, which is absolutely great. Uh, he's the boat builder in the family. He has already built two boats and knows a solution for almost every problem. In order to get safely from the cockpit to the foredeck, we make a handrail for each side to hold on to. For this, uh, we use the old floorboards, uh, which we dismantled in spring. Uh, you could also simply order finished handrails, of course. But this is how we turn something old into something new, and I think this is the right way. After all the wooden parts have been sawn out, we can glue them. I've already sawn out the side uh, and front panels of the Dodger and the window frames. The puzzle now must be joined together. To maximize the effect of the epoxy resin, we thicken it with uh, cotton flocks to form a vicious mixture. This also closes all joints. So guys, enough work for today. New day, new work. The raisin is cured overnight and now we can see how exactly we have worked. Uh, we assemble the side parts of the dodger and glue them together. So all parts remain exactly in position, we fix them with uh, screw clamps. Well, it gives me a really good feeling to see how the puzzle slowly sits together and uh, how many pieces slowly form a cockpit dodger. Even if it's certainly not the most beautiful dodger in the world, um, I'm really satisfied and can't wait to finish it. But before that we have to sand, sand, sand. With the large flat surfaces this is still quick and easy, but the small corners, angles and other inaccessible places on the other hand can be quite annoying, um, because they can often only be sanded by hand, you know. But nevertheless uh, I like to sand, because bit by bit uh, you shape a component with your own hands, transforming rough surfaces uh, into smooth ones. I'm not interested in a perfect finish, but only a sanded hand dryer can be touched well, you know. It's done, ladies and gentlemen. The Dodger is assembled, sanded and painted. Finally, we cut and glue the windows. And as you can see, uh, I got some nice help with that.
two days of work and that's the result. Golden shines in all her beauty. The windows are fitted exactly and only have to be glued. An important stage has almost been completed, guys. How much time has already flown into this dodger? Well, no matter, it was worth it, I think. So, let there be light. Here I stand at the beginning of a great adventure, which is nothing less than the fulfillment of my life's dream. Come on and be a part of it.